This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. This particular video gives a brief introduction to the Dataverse Network. The Dataverse Network is an open source application for publishing, sharing, referencing, extracting, analysing research data. It's created by the Institute for Quantitative Social Science at the Harvard University. Although originally aimed at social science data, a dataverse can be created to hold research data on any subject. For example, the World Agroforestry Centre, or ICRAF, has a dataverse currently with 22 studies. An introductory video is available on the home page of the Dataverse Network project at thedata.org. If you haven't already done so, we recommend you view this short video and download the fact sheet before continuing here. One thing that often stops researchers sharing their data is the belief that they won't get the credit for the work they have done. With Dataverse, a unique citation is automatically generated when a study is created, and this should be used as a reference to the study. The citation has six components, the author, the title, the year and the distributor are the human readable elements. Of these, only the title is compulsory, although author and year are also recommended. The two machine readable elements are a unique global identifier, often called a handle, beginning with HDL, and a universal numeric fingerprint, UNF. Here we can see uh, an example of a citation for a study that's on the SSC Dataverse. In this instance, we don't have author year or distributor, so this just includes the title as the human readable element of the citation. For more information about citations, go to the data citation page of the Dataverse network site. There are two options for hosting your Dataverse. The easiest is to have your Dataverse hosted at Harvard. This is a free service to all researchers. The infrastructure at Harvard is very good and they have grid support available to help you set up your Dataverse. You can also include your own branding in the header, including working links so your Dataverse has the look and feel of your own website. For example, the Statistical Services Centre Dataverse has live links in the header section which take you to the SSC website. The other option is self-hosting and you can download and install the relevant software. This gives you more administrative control but you would need an IT expert to install and manage the site including upgrading, taking backups, etc. You'd also need a good server infrastructure for hosting the application. We would generally recommend the first option, i.e. having the Dataverse hosted at Harvard. To find out more about the two options, follow the links to As a Service or As a Software Package on the Dataverse Network website. Each Dataverse contains studies and collections of studies. And each study contains cataloging information describing the data, plus the data files themselves and any associated files, such as reports, results files, study guidelines, etc. Collections are optional. You can have all your studies at the same level if you want to. This is fine if you have just a few studies, but as more and more studies are added, you may find it useful to divide them into collections. Think of this in terms of how you might divide your files into folders on your PC. For example, in the SSC Dataverse, we currently have just five studies. One is the Targeted Input Program, or TIP, and the others are for the Starter Pack Evaluation Program, Starter Pack 2. Within the Starter Pack, there are three modules, module 5, 4 and 2. So we have the top level, which is a collection, which contains the three modules. Our archive files on our local drive reflect this structure with a top level folder for Starter Pack 2 and three subfolders 
for the three modules, module two, module four, and module five. When a study is released, the default is for public access, but you can choose to restrict the entire study, giving access to named individuals only. Or you can restrict individual files within a study, even if the study itself has public access. For example, we can see here on the ICRAF dataverse, there are some studies that are restricted, which is indicated by the padlock symbol. On the CCAFs dataverse, the baseline household survey is public access, but we can see here the data files have restricted access. Dataverse is primarily an archiving facility. However, you can create a Dataverse and start creating studies early on in your project, gradually building the archive as each stage of the project is completed. Studies are only made public once they are released, so you can continue building your archive until you are ready to release it. If you have a data and document store for your project, then creating your archive should be relatively straightforward as you can keep the same structure. This video was just a brief introduction to the concept. Later videos will show how to start creating your Dataverse.